Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back with another video, and today we will be diving into the depths of British TikTok compilations, some of which are incredibly funny, and others where we get to see what the next generation is looking like. Isn't always the best. But anyways, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Hopefully we get some entertainment here, and let's do it. Morning, gents. Are you here to start the extension? All right, mate, yeah. Just around the back. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, we'd love a cup of tea. Okay. Mate. All right, boys. Here's your cup of rosies. Yeah, it's do down there for us, mate. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, and then go straight down there with that. All right, that's what we're thinking then. Back in the day, used to do all this sort of stuff. He used to do extensions, all that sort of stuff back in the day, you know? Yeah. Really? Yeah, back in the day. Hey, Paul, I'm not going to lie, mate. Know. We need your advice, because okay. at the moment we're doing the 4-4-1s, four, four but I'm thinking maybe the 2-2-2s, two, two, if we dig it up and um, <laughs> excavate the site, we could probably stick it in. But, I mean, to be honest, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> mate, I 100% agree with you, mate. I'd do, I'd do exactly the same. Oh, great news. It costs you extra 50 grand, but we'll get Dave to price it up and uh, we'll get everything sorted. Yeah, let me call John and his boys and we can probably start now. Well, I was just thinking, if you can get the boys down here in probably the next hour and a half, then we can start. And then, actually, Paul, is is that all right? Well, to be honest, gents, I'm... Mate. Yeah, of course it is, <laughs> mate. Yeah, no worries. Just get it started. It was that, mate. <laughs> you might... Everyone knows. Yeah, that's that's a lot of... <laughs> the scum society live here, in the gutter. But due to mass benefit fraud, they actually live here in mansions. To make matters worse, they're not only poor, they're fat. How many kids is too many? One? Two? Three? Well, this lady has four. This man might think he's a woman, but we just think he's weird. We've all seen rappers with their big gold watches, but how are they paying for it? You guessed it. Benefit! This is what Derek eats in one week. I'm pretending to be poor. For science. I'm deep undercover as a homeless man. I'm in the park giving out asbos to the ugliest teenagers I can find. I'm here in front of the British Communist Party's headquarters. And guess what? They're all gay. Luckily for me, I don't live here. I I, I don't know what this is talking about because, you know, I haven't really seen these early 2000s TV shows, but pretty funny regardless. We've trapped this fat man's it family seems accurate. inside a block of butter. The old nursery rhyme goes head, shoulders, knees and toes. But what if I told you there's a family who have none of them? Usually things that are so specific that it's rare that they're not accurate. So let me know in the comments if that, if that was an accurate uh, representation of what those shows were like. But it's, you know, if someone gets so specific and they're making fun of a specific thing, it's like it has, you know, not always has to, but... Hello. Hello, Dad, it's me. Um, I, I need you to do me a really big favour. Again? What? <laughs> so, um, I'm just driving home with Siobhan, and I was driving down the A20, and I was doing a little bit over the speed limit. I was only doing, like, 35, but I've been pulled over by the police, and I've told them that you have had a fall, and I was rushing home to you, and they're going to follow me home. So I need you to lie at the bottom of the stairs and pretend you've had a fall. For fuck's sake. What the fuck are you doing speeding, for Christ's sake? Well, that, that doesn't matter, does it? Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, you want me to lie down the bottom of the stairs, pretend that I fell down yeah, the stairs? Yes, otherwise I'm going to get done for lying. Mother of Jesus. Oh, all right. OK, I'll see you in a minute. OK, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Dad. Bye. Bye. Thank you. There's no way. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can see me as a joke. That was awesome. Asking private school chaps what supermarket they shop at. What? Yo, Montgomery, quick fire question. What supermarket do you shop at? Waitrose. Beautiful. Yo, Barnaby, quick fire question. What supermarket do you shop at? Yeah, of course, the Waitrose. What else? Beautiful, beautiful. Yo, Hugo, mate, quick fire question. What supermarket do you shop at? Waitrose. Beautiful. Edward, mate, what supermarket do you shop at? Waitrose. Beautiful. Those just look like they, they, they just look like they got money, bro. Wearing those random outfits. Oh, right. oh shit, is it? 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you know my nan died last week, right? Ah, oh, shit, is it? Got the funeral on um, Friday. Oh, oh, that's dead. That's fucking sh no. Speaking of like dead nans and whatnot, um, inheritance money has it has it dropped? Mate, what are you talking about? That oh is no, it's wild. just that you sort of you owe me money for that chicken mayo I bought you not long ago. You owe me money, basically. Is what I'm trying to say. What are you talking about? I do not owe you anything. <sighs> receipt here this is from 2019 i'm gonna call the police i'm going to call the police <laughs> if you don't pay now no you're not 911 what's your emergency hi yeah um there's a black man in my it, bro chill 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 to be honest Okay, I'm not with him on this specific situation, like the Nan dying and all that, but if you're not paying someone back and they expect you to pay them back, you're in the wrong every time. Every time. There's a fine line between pressing someone out over it all the time and stuff, but you know, it's, it's that's a weird thing. You still on for the cinema tonight, though? After you just did that, see, nah. Oh, hang on, fuck off. I just saw you moving, bruv. <laughs> oh, mate, no way. Dino, come here, look, look, look. My toy's alive, bruv. Do, do it again. Don't mug me off in front of my mate. Do it again. What's your name? Buzz. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Buzzing with Buzz and that, innit? Yeah, we... Bruv, that's fucking nuts, isn't it? Do you do cat? Do you want to watch it? What? Oh, have you got any Rizzler for my mate? I bet you pull bear birds, innit? You do, didn't you? Look, look, man like Buzz. Put all them Barbie dolls and Polly Pocket things. All right, I'll ask you, I'll ask you. You got any gear? Oh. I'm going to go through things the current year. I learned what that was the hard way. No. In the comment section. The sevens are younger than. They're younger than these items. Mate, they're younger than the iPad. How is that possible? They're younger than Instagram. How the fuck have they done that? They're How is that than possible? This tune. If I could write you a song to make you fall in love. I know fidget spinners became popular in 2017, but they were first invented in 2010, mate. They're younger than a fidget spinner. Like, that's, that's pissing me off. Why the f <laughs> how can you be younger than a fidget spinner, mate? <laughs> that is true. I, th that gives us a little glimpse into what our generation is gonna reminisce on. We're gonna turn into it to turn into our parents, and it's gonna suck. Excuse me, I was wondering if I could just let you know that you uh, remind me of the seven planets of the galaxy. I thought there were eight. There will be seven once I destroy your anus. Draco. Emotional damage! Oh, oh. That was, that was hard to watch there. Look, this is, this is the reason why the UK will, oh, these directors are looking a bit horrible today. This is the reason why the UK will continue and always and forever be useless. Look how they packaged my mock flurry tonight. Look, nice, it's packed neat, mm. nicely packaged. Look at the drink. Can can the UK ever be this large? I don't think so. UK. You are you, you are all losers. See, look at the apple pie. It's so neat. It's it's cute. I went to McDonald's in uh, in Edinburgh. It was all right, you know. I didn't really think it was that much different, but that's true about the drink sizes. Everything here is bigger, which I think is for worse rather than better. It's better when you're visiting, but living here all the time with those sizes, it's like, and watching people get that, it's kind of disgusting. Have you guys ever dipped your chicken nugget into your McFlurry? I'm actually pissed off. You guys know what I'm about to say because I'm actually livid. Look at the size of that McFlurry cup. Look at the fucking there size it is. of it. Have you seen the UK one? They are scamming us. Is they are scam? Mm, Jesus! Then they have the nerve to give <laughs> us a cup this size here and then fill half of it, while these lot in America are getting a five XL fucking cup. If you don't know me, I can really wax a Oreo McFlurry. I can delete it from life very quickly. And when I'm feeling real cheeky, I will order two. That is two pounds. Like, does your McFlurries come in like different sizes or is it just one, that one big size? One I've been size. to America a few times and I have been to McDonald's there, but I, for some reason I just never ordered McFlurry, so I've never seen it that size. I'm absolutely astonished. 
It's a normal size. The I... thing is now is that people are driving around in cars wearing a mask on the road. <laughs> I don't get it. That is like that. That is like uh, the equivalent yeah. of having a wank while wearing a condom so you don't get an STD. <laughs> no, I completely agree with that. It that's, there's nothing that pissed me off more especially during the height of the pandemic, than driving around and seeing people completely alone in their cars with their mask on. I don't understand what that was about. Like, I get it maybe if you're in the car for a minute or two going to... Nah, they were on the highway. They were on the highway. In the left lane. They're not getting off anywhere anytime soon. Like, there's just no... There's no rebuttal. There's no other side to that. Hey, big boy, I ask the questions, you give the fucking answers. Fuck that shit, dog. I ain't here for that. Want a fucking jacket? Want to talk some shit? Fuck me. Let's go step outside, motherfucker. Want to talk about fucking fighting? Oh, wow. You want to get fucking rough? Do you think I'm scared? Huh? Look at you. You've just blown all fuck your... Fuck all the fucking cameras. Yeah, fuck the cameras. Yeah? Yeah. Can step I'm outside. Here. I asked you one simple question, and you couldn't fucking answer me. And then you want to get all tough and up close and personal. Fuck you. There you go. You ain't nothing but a bitch. You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. Fuck you. Fuck all of y'all. Bitch. I didn't even have to watch it and I... Things that annoy me. Can I just um, pay for the petrol, please? Would you like to buy some plum tomatoes that are on offer? No, it's okay, mate. I don't really like plum tomatoes, thanks. These double deckers, I buy one, get one free if you want them. No, I'm okay. Um, I'm allergic to sugar, so I, I can't have that. Sorry about that. How about some sweets? A 20p a pack. What part of allergic to sugar <laughs> did you not get, pal? Could I just pay for my petrol so I can go? Is any chance? No, you, you were being rude. You said you didn't want. So that's that's a big difference. Is you guys when you when you're buying gas, you have to go inside to pay. Whereas in the United States, you just pay at the pump. You don't have to go in anything. I've always wondered how that would work over here, like the honesty system. Like, could you not just drive off after filling your car? Oh, I guess they have the cameras on your plate. But what if you just hide your plate? Well, that's a crime too, but it's a crime regardless. So I don't know. Let me know what you think of that. Want to be in it? You can yeah, stand no, in the I corner did. and think yeah. about your actions. No. I think that's your worst mistake is trying to argue with an American. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Tell him. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? <laughs> a learner driver from London travelled 500 oh, no. miles to take the UK's easiest driving test and failed. She decided to go to the Isle of Mull, just off the west coast of Scotland, where reportedly the driving test was very easy. Look, a driving test is not something you should try and life hack. If you can't drive, no. get off the road. Practice. Well, practice, just away from me. Yeah. There's a kind of a preconception that this university's got a lot of posh people in it. I oh, see I'm not posh. I love kebabs. <laughs> I found my intro. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely not posh. Oh, 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 hello, 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 love. <laughs> Look at the motion in that. Oh, God. Would you rather shit out a rugby ball once a month or piss out Tabasco sauce every time you urinate? Rugby ball every time rugby ball um all right that, that was that was pretty good that was entertaining let me know what you guys thought of it and um yeah i don't really have much else to say if there's any videos you guys want me to watch throw them in the comments if you would like please consider joining the patreon first link in the description we've been doing a lot of uh movie reactions on there quintessential british movies so don't miss out on that and with that being said guys i'm gonna catch you all in the next one peace